Hello everyone, today I bring you this movie called Moving Dream Palace. Without saying more or less, let's watch the movie. As the movie begins, we see George, the hero, in an elevator. Inside the elevator, there's no light. At this point George was very scared. Could it be that this was going to hell? No, it looks like it's going up. Is it because I helped grandma cross the street and got rewarded for it? Just when I was about to die of fright, the elevator reached the top floor. Then a bunch of grown men laughed at George like he was a monkey, and kept calling the rookie, and calling George a rookie too. He said he was going to run, but he got so excited that he made a close contact with the earth, and then he was locked up. When George's mood stabilized a bit, Cameron, the leadership level here, began to familiarize the newcomer with the place. As usual, according to Cameron, people here are transported up to this elevator. They're in the middle of a maze, and to get out they have to go through it. The doors of the labyrinth are open regularly every morning and closed at night. They chose a group of strong, fast runners to run the map inside, also known as walkers. Despite three years of hard work, not a single person has gotten out so far, but quite a few have died in the maze. But George was very curious about the world inside. George soon adapted to life here. Everyone here grows their own food and eats together in a big pot, truly realizing a commonwealth society. By the end of the day, George was just about to get some fertilizer at the grove, but was surprised to find a crazy dude who turned out to be kissed by a big spider in the maze. Those big spiders used to appear only at night. How come they're there in the daytime now? To get to the bottom of this, early the next morning, Cameron entered the labyrinth with both walker cos. When I came out, I saw cos carrying Cameron, who had been bitten by a giant spider. But the labyrinth gates are about to close, and if you can't get out now, you die. They say no one can spend a night in the maze. All the people out there yelling to get out of there. It's obviously not working. George was in a hurry, and just as the door was about to close, he rushed in. Koss asked why you came in, and George said I don't know, I just wanted to come in, and I did. As soon as the door closed, it became instantly dark inside. The night is dark and windy, and you can't see a thing, and the monster giant spider appears. George was about to be eaten, but he had a protagonist's aura. After successfully killing the big spider, he smoothly dragged Cameron out of the labyrinth. To say that George should be a hero now would be an understatement. Saved Cameron again and was able to escape from the maze without incident. But Bluth, who doesn't look like a nice guy, says it's because of George's presence that all this happened, and he should be punished for trespassing on the labyrinth. Even though I have a thousand words in my heart, I don't know where to start when I want to greet your family. Because after all, Bluth came in first, he's the senior. But after this incident, George's bravery and athleticism were recognized by everyone. The next day, George followed Koss and the others into the maze. On the body of the dead giant spider, they found a signaler labeled with the number 7. Then Koss took George to a cabin. They're here to see the map. Koss told George that the map was made by all the walkers running the map bit by bit. The entire labyrinth is divided into 8 areas. And this number 7 should be the monster in area 7. But we know that area 7 is really open. So it looks like something big is going to happen this time. The next day the elevator came again. This time sending up a woman. And only a woman. I can tell she's from a different background. She came up with a note on her that said the last one. And there are two jars of what looks like an antidote. And look at this white skin and shiny black curly hair. The priority now is not to study women, but to find a way out of the labyrinth. With that George and Koss, both with their signalers, broke into the maze again. Guided by the signaler, they had no trouble finding a place that the walker running map had never seen before. Then it goes without saying that it must be the exit. It's a tough road back, but it's not a big problem. Cameron over here is also getting better after injecting the antidote the woman brought with her. Upon awakening, Cameron regained all his memories. He remembered that it was George who had sent them in, and that was embarrassing. No sooner had Cameron finished speaking, than the crowd realized something big was going on. Because the doors to the maze, tonight, were not even closed in time, soon the big spiders inside began to enter their camp through the gates. A pattern of bloody carnage has begun. Cameron was also captured by a giant spider to protect the others. Now that Bluth has found the handle, drumming up the crowd to kill George and make a good living at it. But few listened. And finally Koss and the women and a group of others followed George into the labyrinth. After all the difficulties and the deaths of a number of dragon sets, he successfully escaped from the maze and stormed into the headquarters controlling the maze. Turns out it was all an experiment to counter the brain blackening virus that's prevalent out there right now. They need these young men to develop their brains and then develop an antidote. It turns out that the outside world is not as beautiful as they thought. That's the end of the story. In fact, the labyrinth is like a person's heart, and many people will choose to stay in the labyrinth for the rest of their lives and sell for the status quo, just like Bluth did, sit on one's hands and wait to die, because they're afraid of getting hurt. But what we need more than anything else is the spirit to fight, to use all our energy for a better life, even if the world out. There is not all it's cracked up to be. Do you choose to stay inside and enjoy life for the rest of your life? Or do you break the mold and pursue a new life? Leave a comment in the comment section telling your story goodbye.